Everybody, I'm in my art room tonight. I am uh, using up some of my leftover paints, so I thought I would do a larger Dutch pour. This is uh, 14 by no 12 by 12, I think. Yeah, 12 by 12. So I'm gonna. I have white paint mixed and it's just got water in it and it's white Windsor Newton and Artist Loft mixed together it's pretty thin consistency if you can see that but it makes an indent when it goes down into the paint it's almost like water this is my this is gonna go around the paint to blow on I hope I have enough paint I hope I made enough so I have Windsor Blue, Windsor Violet, just mixed with water. That one I just made up tonight. I've got some gold, Rustoleum gold. Now see that was see how that's thickened up. The gold tends to thicken. So this is uh, Rustoleum soft gold mixed with water. This is a magenta, and I actually mixed two magentas together. I think it's, no I didn't, uh, it's Permanent Magenta by Windsor Newton. But I added some pearl essence to this just to see if it makes it nice and shiny. That's pretty good now. And I have a lighter magenta. Uh, it was, it's a, I added some rose pink to a basics, basics magenta. The rose pink, I'm not sure what kind that one was. Oh, that's a basics also. These are both basics. Okay. And then I have a yellow. This is a um, dark yellow, cad yellow mixed with some uh, Amsterdam yellow red. Just a darker yellow. All right, now let's see if I can get all this paint. I hope I have enough. And there's quite a few air bubbles because I just made it, so. would it help the bubbles That's pretty good. 
I think that helped get some of the air bubbles out. I'll just go around the sides with my finger and just has to be pretty runny to get that hair dryer to move it. All right. I still have a little bit left. trying to debate whether I should do a diagonal or straight across. Mm. I like the diagonal. Now, I think I'll put down this, this pink. some of this purple. Oh, I'm surprised this is not running off. Just pour it. These colors look nice together. Spoons are great for this. Just roll right off the spoon. Now, it's quite a bit of paint. Alright, 
and then I'm just going to pour some down the side. Now I'm going to blow it over. hoping for more negative space but that's oh that yellow came out nice in there I like this part here let's see if I can blow any more Well, I'll take a torch to it. I don't like the 
this part right here. cells there. I was hoping for more over here, but I was going to like the yellow in there, but I do like it. I covered more of the canvas than I was hoping for. Anyway, well, that's it. I think it's it's great. Maybe some more cells will pop through. I like those yellow ones there. Goes nice with the purple anyway. Okay, that's it for now. I'll see if I can hold this up a little closer. I know you can see pretty good, but look at that. Isn't that pretty? The colors are pretty. All right. Have a great day, everybody. Come back soon to my art room. Please subscribe and like and comment below. Let me know what you think. Bye-bye. Hi, everybody. I just uh, have this oval wooden plaque that I want to do um, a pour on to make a little sign. So I thought, well, I got some of this leftover paint. Why don't I just do a little mini Dutch pour on here? So I'll just... I already got the same colors and... A mess going so I may as well finish up the night with this little guy. Get some paint sitting here I may as well use. Tape the back so the back should stay good and clean and I primed it because it was wood.
Hmm. What I do with the yellow? I'm gonna put the yellow. Oh, I was gonna do a puddle, wasn't I? Shoot. I'm gonna do a puddle. Gold, Rustoleum Gold. Sorry about my noisy dryer. It's the end of that dryer. I'm I got a bought a new one today. These those are both magentas. This is a Windsor Violet. Okay, so now you, what you do is you take your thin paint, and you pour it around. Take your hair dryer, blow over, blow over that way, blow it over this way. I think the trick is this time I had the dryer on warm the last time I had the dryer on cool I think warm activates these cells I think so there's proof is in the pudding right there exact same paints there you go Cause that sure is pretty. Oh no, I don't need that. I need my torch. Cause if you think of it, the torch is hot and it brings out cells. So you would think that the hot dryer would too, right? Yep. Look at that. So I wonder if I can, I'm gonna have to, I wanna put Carol's art room on here, possibly, somehow. Or I might just leave it. We'll see, see how it dries. I was gonna blow that, I don't know if I, well, I kinda like that white line there. Whoops, almost dropped it. 
All right, well, have a great day, everybody. Come back soon to my art room. Did I close? give you a close-up? There you go. Bye-bye.